Unit 4, Lesson 10, Dividing by Unit and Non-Unit Fractions. Number 1. Priya is sharing 24 apples equally with some friends. She uses division to determine how many people can have a share if each person gets a particular number of apples. For example, 24 divided by 4 equals 6, means that if each person gets 4 apples, 6 people can have apples. Here are some other calculations. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. 24 divided by 1 equals 24. And 24 divided by a half equals question mark. A. Priya thinks the question mark represents a number less than 24. Do you agree, explain, or show your reasoning? I don't agree. A half is half the size of 1. So a half will fit into 24 twice as many times as 1. 24 divided by 1 half equals 48. Since 24 divided by 1 is 24, 24 divided by a half is 48. B. In the case of 24 divided by a half equals question mark, how many people can have apples? There is a pattern. 24 divided by 4 equals 6, 24 divided by 2 equals 12, 24 divided by 1 equals 24, and 24 divided by a half equals 48. So 48 people could have some apple. Number 2. Here is a centimeter ruler. A. Use the ruler to find 1 divided by 1 tenth and 4 divided by 1 tenth. 1 divided by 1 tenth equals 10. There's 10 tenths in one whole. Use the ruler to find 4 divided by 1 tenth. In 1, there's 10 groups of tenths. So in 4, it would be 4 times 10 groups of tenths. So 4 divided by 1 tenth is 40. B. What calculation did you do each time? Each centimeter has 10 millimeters, so I multiplied the dividend by 10 for each of the above problems. C. Use your work from the first part to find each quotient. 18 divided by 1 tenth. There are 180 tenths in 18. 18 divided by 1 tenth equals 18 times 10, or 180. 4 divided by 2 tenths. There are 20 sets of 2 tenths in 4. 4 divided by 2 tenths equals 20. 4 divided by 8 tenths. There are 5 sets of 8 tenths in 4. 4 divided by 8 tenths equals 5. Number 3. Find each quotient. A. 5 divided by 1 tenth. 5 divided by 1 tenth equals 50 over 1 or 50. 5 divided by 3 tenths. 5 divided by 3 tenths is 50 thirds, or 16 and 2 thirds. 5 divided by 9 tenths. 5 divided by 9 tenths is 50 ninths, or 5 and 5 ninths. Number 4. Use the fact that 2 and a half divided by 1 eighth equals 20 to find 2 and a half divided by 5 eighths. Explain or show your reasoning. 2 and a half divided by 1 eighth equals 20. 2 and a half divided by 5 eighths equals 4. 5 eighths is 5 times larger than 1 eighth. So the number of groups decrease by a factor of 5. Number 5. It takes one week for a crew of workers to pave three-fifths kilometer of road. 
at that rate, how long will it take to pave one kilometer? Write a multiplication equation and a division equation that represents the question and then answer the question. Show your reasoning. Three-fifths times what number equals one and one divided by three-fifths equals five-thirds, which is equal to one and two-fifths. At that rate, it would take one and two-fifths weeks to pave one kilometer. Take a look at the diagram. The work that was completed in one week was three-fifths of a kilometer. So I divided that week up into thirds. Shaded in green, you have three sections of one-third of a week. It would take two more sections of one-third of a week to complete one full kilometer. That's a total of five-thirds of a week. Or Number six, a box contains one and three-fourths pounds of pancake mix. Jada used seven-eighths pound for a recipe. What fraction of the pancake mix in the box did she use? Explain or show your reasoning. Draw a diagram if needed. The box contains one and three-fourths pounds of pancake mix. One and three-fourths is the same as one and six-eighths. And I can take that one pound and turn it into eight-eighths. Eight-eighths plus six-eighths equals 14 eighths. Now those 14 eighths can be compared to the 7 eighths of a pound that she used. 14 eighths minus 7 eighths equals 7 eighths. Since 7 is half of 14, she used half of the mix. So 7 eighths of the mix was used. Number 7. Calculate each percentage mentally. A. 25% of 400. Well, 25% is like one-fourth. So 400 divided by 4 is 100. B. 50% of 90. We know that 50% is half. So what's half of 90? 45. C. 75% of 200. Well, 75% is 3 times 25%. And 25% is a fourth. So what's a fourth of 200? 50. 50 times 3 is 150. D. 10% of 8,000. 10% is something that's 10 times smaller. So what's 10 times smaller than 8,000? 800. E. 5% of 20. Well, I know 5% of 100 is 5. And 20 is is five times smaller than a hundred. So if 5% of 100 is five, then what's five times smaller than five? One. Another way to think about E, 5% of 20, is I know 10% of 20 is two, and 5% is half of 10%. So what's half of two? One. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 4, Lesson 10, Dividing by Unit and Non-Unit Fractions. Music